love this um, title, to be honest, because I don't use it describing some super special supernatural natural race or species or this is not related to anything that we how to say this this is not to be used as something of superiority or make anyone feel inferior about themselves this is really important to know and understand and um, read out all the misconceptions and all the toxic identifications and um, and all linked expressions labels from this title or from these um, categorizing words that we use to talk about those who are leading the way for all humanity on, on uh, their path in spiritual awakening this must be understood and used carefully these, these labels and titles must be understood from a truly higher perspective and used uh, res respectfully and responsibly so when I'm talking about chosen ones I'm talking about higher higher ascended and higher uh, high, highly ascended and highly ascended human beings in their god and goddess consciousness operating in their god and god goddess consciousness aka uh, getting to be ready to fully uh, leave from a higher level of consciousness that humanity is ready to step into uh, not step into sorry uh, init being initiated into and humanity is soon be ready to step into this whole ascending process the purging and the spiritual awakening process um, as per how the divine will intends for the rest of humanity and obviously per individual you know you know how that things i'm not i'm not i don't i'm not meant to talk about this now but i can go really really deep into these topics is such a depth uh, to this but let's not talk about this now what I meant to say today and I came across uh, different experiences I would like to share it with you because I recently been invited by my guides to engage um, back with the society I've been through a really long um, too much extended period of time um, spent in solitude and self-reflection and self-love and self-compassion and obviously self-healing and 
purging uh, cycles and whatnot. And that's why I am here and showing up and showing my face and I'm talking to you now through video, I'm recording myself, I'm sharing more of me because I'm, I was ready to do so. And many of other light workers doing exactly the same little by little or they go cold turkey, whatever is, is as per their um, journey. But I had a really interesting experience because I haven't been uh, out. Normally, I'm, I'm engaging. Um, I stay mostly at home, either within the house. Uh, inside the house or I go out uh, to nature I like to have little trips I have uh, local places to go and I like to explore uh, different other places obviously in nature But I uh, recently had the feeling that, yes, it's indeed time to uh, re rejoice. This, this word came to me. That's really interesting. Rejoice and rejoin, um, hopefully, communities that are like-minded, you know, with like-minded people and uh, that are more uh, aligned with with you and whatever you like etc etc i don't have to go into this really um and as i've been out and can say that from my usual um way of engaging with the outside world with my environment this was actually really i really felt it that was really an interesting um, experience to have because i just uh, had to face the fact i actually took a really big leap back to To, to the normal world without um, realizing how, how much of a difference is going to be energetically because I, I, I didn't engage, I, I haven't been engaging with the uh, um, people for a very, very, very long time in person. I have my own little bubble and the people in this bubble and outside of this bubble there are, it's, it's not much of a chance to encounter me in person outside of this bubble but I had to face to an extreme level of my sensitivity uh, as per in um, in the meaning of you know energetically and if you do or if you if you have the same experience if you're especially if you're working from home you're not really going out you really don't have much uh, to link yourself with in the outside world that actually can happen 
the same actually can happen to you and you might experience the same or very similar uh, how I experienced.